everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to Mode Select. And today we're back with Doki Doki Literature Club. And now, as usual, I'll give you the old content warning. And if you see a warning sign on the screen right now, that means that this video shall contain uh, horrifying imagery and disturbing content. And if you're not okay with that, then turn away now. And for those who have stayed, what happened? Just, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna get more disturbing content as usual since we've gone the point of no return. And as usual, Sayori's not in this in the title screen anymore, though the new game is back to normal. So I guess it'll just if I try new game, it'll just keep trying, it'll just keep rebooting without Sayori in the story. And yeah, I assume that more and more girls are probably gonna start disappearing as well but anyway let's continue where we left off and we are at the poem again i wonder what happens if i pick the ones that are oh that that sayori would like are they just both gonna hate it hmm so it seems that going after a specific girl is kind of What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fruitless? Because either way, it's going to end the same way regardless of what you do. So This time, I guess I'll try to go after Natsuki and see what, what she says. Let's see. Cute. Tears. Agonizing. Cheeks. Pleasure. Fantasy. Vibrant. Jump. Papa. Aura. Tears. Fantasy! Sunset. Extraordinary. Incapable. Breathe. Unending. Sensation. Mouse. Promise. Tone. Meager. Damn it. None of these are... None of these are, um... Are evident. Uh... Mouse? There we go. Caged. Alone. Music. Extension. Journey. Twirl. Awesome. Insight. Melody. Twirl! Sugar. Kitty! Tenacious, feather, kiss, shame, horror, disaster, marriage, kitty! We're going all cutesy today. Bubbles, childhood, lucky, hope, daydream. Daydream! Oh, well, that was the wrong one. Amazing, socks, heart, imagination, embrace, extreme, raindrop, whistle, spinning, smile. Uh... Socks? Yeah, socks! Heaven sent sparkle to Kawaii! We know we go with the Kawaii, that's the. Okay, so. Conjurant. Doki Doki! Pain, hurt, infinite, Valentine, despise, chocolate, family, and controllable joy, philosophy. Uh, chocolate! Parfait, color. Well, you know how Gintoki loves their his parfait, so let's go parfait! Yeah! Fireflies, lollipop, suicide, captive, determination, ambience, the sound, massacre, hop, chopping. Let's go lollipop! Laugh, strawberry, treasure, secretive, passion, bunny, vivid, loud, crimson, bliss. Let's go with strawberry, because that's the name of Ichigo. Ichigo is strawberry in Japanese. Uh, bed, melancholy, ocean, headphones, candy, rose, after image. After image! Wait, really? Okay. Nibble, destiny, fun, desire, dance, sweet, defeat, disarray, poof! <laughs> poof. Holiday, eternity, party, vertigo, nightgown, happiness, rain cloud, wrath, anger, broken. Mm, this one's not as evident. Party! Special. Together, depression, beauty, bouncy. Let's go with bouncy. Aw, oh, yeah. She knows what she's missing. Shiny. Vanilla. Precious. Giggle. Fireworks. Warm. Intellectual. Fluffy. Dream. Portrait. Giggle! Unrequited. Inferno. Pure. Fickle. Romance. Variance. Games, puppy, lazy, explode. G 
games! Sadness, frightening, love, clouds, uncanny, silly, unrestrained, anxiety, play. Play! Whoa, what the hell? God damn it, Sayuri! Ah! Uh, damn it, game! I didn't expect that. Hey, Shadow! Exclamation point! Glad to see you didn't run away on us! Ha ha ha! Exclamation point! Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back to the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone is already hanging out. Wah! God damn it, Yuri! Is this foreshadowing? Are you next? Are you next on Monica's chopping block? Thanks for keeping your promise, Shadow. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Dot dot dot. Ah! God damn it, Natsuki! Where did you come from? Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Uh, Monica, Monica, you're kind of in the way. You're um, you're in front of the text box. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Uh, is there something here she doesn't want me to read? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just yeah, Natsuki. Natsuki has certainly a big, have a big mouth for someone who keeps manga collection in the cl club room. Meh. God, what what was that about? Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Shadow. Dot dot dot. Well, make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Question mark. Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointment glance. Um. Uh, um. Anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Question mark. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to so to do something that like that, if you ask. Is it just me or is the music faster this time? I feel like the music is faster this this time through. Well, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Put exclamation point. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no. It's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club, so even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? Question mark. I just felt like, well, as vice president at all, that I should get help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being cute? Question mark. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you! Qu exclamation point. I'll definitely read this! Exclamation point. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! Exclamation point. I hear Natsuki utter an ex exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. I think this is different. You looking for something in there? Question mark. What the... What is this? Um, okay. What? She never put my stuff back in the right spot! Exclamation point. 
What's the point in keeping your collection organized if anyone else is gonna mess it up? Question mark. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You mean you read manga, right? Question mark. Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of the things, one of those things where you can't admit you really into until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? Question mark. I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? Question mark. Uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Exclamation point. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Exclamation point. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she is admiring. Parfait girls? Question mark. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're if you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything, exclamation point. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Shadow. Consider this a lesson straight with- Whoa, don't judge a- What is the kez? What is this? In fact, Natsuki pulls out a first volume of par Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why! Exclamation point. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in color atti colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. <laughs> oh my god. Don't just stand there! Exclamation point. Ugh. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Question mark. I take a, my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like this. Like that. Eh? Question mark. Why is that? Question mark. Uh, uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Exclam <laughs> exclamation point. D -d 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 Don't just say that. Exclamation point. You'll make me feel weird about it! Exclamation point. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her any either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while ho she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Question mark. Huh? Question mark. You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Question mark. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Question mark. Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically, slice of life affair. Kind of grew out of the of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? Question mark. It's not. Exclamation point. Even though you're just watching me read? Question mark. Well, exclamation point. I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean, question mark? Quest dot 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 question mark. Hmm, question mark? You don't, question mark? Um... Her eyes moved. Okay. Dot dot dot. That's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean, question mark? Don't you share your manga with your friends, question mark? Could you not rub it in, question mark? Jeez. 
Uh, sorry. Hmm. Huh. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Question mark. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who won't judge, m much less friends who are also into it. I'm already a ki already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers of over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. What? I wonder what the original text says. It's kind of interesting. This is because those texts are probably only on the second playthrough. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Question mark. Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? Question mark. I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Question mark. Pause. Dot, dot, dot. So? Question mark. Hahaha. <laughs> Jeez, that's enough! Exclamation point. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Question mark. Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Dot 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 dot. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she's started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. It yeah? Question mark. Suddenly Natsuki collapses straight onto me. Hey! Whoa! What the hell? Ah, uh, Natsuki, are you feeling okay? You um, you got something there. Uh, you got a little something um on your face there. And uh, I can't even read this text. Oh, oh, jeez, Natsuki, are you okay? Question mark. Oh God. Dot dot dot. Here. Monica reaches into her bag to pull out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you... I told you not to give... Mm. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Is that what happens when you get hungry, Natsuki? That's kind of uh, scary. Don't worry, Shadow. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. Really? That happens every now and then. I'm kind of uh, concerned. That's why I always keep snacks in my bag for her. Anyway, exclamation point. Why don't we all share poems now? Question mark. All right. Poem time, guys. Wait a minute. All right, yeah, of course. I, can al I was always able to share with Monica. Uh, anyway, uh, since we're going after Natsuki, let's do her first. I mean, uh, let's show her the poem first. No confusion, guys. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 question mark? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, well, let's start with the thing I don't like. Exclamation point. First of all, um... Dot dot dot. Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Question mark. Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? Question mark. I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? Question mark. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours, like Monica said. Uh. Exclamation point. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was real. If yours was really bad! Exclamation point. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go ha 
Well, that's, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like, Qu exclamation point. And you went and ruined it, exclamation point. I hope you're happy, exclamation point. Uh, dot dot dot. So in other words, you're saying that you liked it, question mark. Ugh! Natsuki retorts, gets caught in her throat. Ugh, you're so... Exclamation point. You just... You don't understand anything, do you? At question mark. I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Exclamation point. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Question mark. Gah, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Yeah, it's just the same. It's the same poem as last time. I was actually expecting something disturbing. Whatever. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Question mark? Just be honest! Exclamation point. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Question mark. Well, because! Exclamation point. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Question mark. Your writing, st uh, your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes! Exclamation point. Exactly! Exclamation point. I like it. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what mate means to be a pro, exclamation point. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Ex question mark. Yeah, I guess not. Decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Well, that's all the time I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to smash that subscribe button that's right there in the middle. And make sure to follow us on Facebook in the, in the description down below. And if you have any suggestions for us, leave a comment down below. This was Mode Select, signing out.